record. Welcome, my name is David Bestlever. I am in, welcome to the Innovation Hub. You're experimenting with the use of image recognition and the use of autonomous robots to do asset inspection. Asset inspection is one of the single largest expenses for many utility providers. It is a very manual labor intensive program prone to human error and rarely integrated into their IT system. Historically, it has been a very manual process based off of a seasonal calendar and is limited by logistical, budgetary, and safety constraints. Increasing the use of inspection without directly interacting with the assets can help to greatly increase safety in the life of the asset while minimizing unrequired preventative maintenance programs. One way to achieve this is through the use of image recognition in autonomous robots. Here at the Innovation Lab, we have mocked up two utility poles. In the future, we plan on setting up real utility poles donated by Exelon. Our utility pole on the left, the galvanized steel and the cross arm are both in excellent shape. Our utility pole on the right has seen better days. There's significant rust damage to the bottom of the pole and the cross arm has a crack in it. We have trained Oracle Vision Services to automatically detect rust damage. We've done this through taking hundreds of photos of both good and bad utility poles. We will be utilizing the SkyDO drone to do the asset inspection and to capture footage of the bottom of the actual pole. Let's go ahead and kick off the actual drone flight. As you can see here on the screen, uh, on the right hand side, you'll be able to see the drone as it takes off and actually see what it is seeing as it does the inspection. On the left hand side, we have a live stream giving us an overview of the flight and a close up view of the actual inspection of the rust damage pole. Use of drones gives us access to an array of sensors, including vision, thermal, and LIDAR. This, these can then be used to detect an expansive number of problems. Using artificial intelligence and machine learning, you are able to accurately and efficiently detect these problems. This allows your field team to then focus on cases that are critical and triage others. This platform then provides an accurate, efficient, scalable, repeatable way to solve multiple problems. For today's demonstration, we are utilizing a pre-scheduled flight, but in the real world, this would be a combination of pre-scheduled as well as manually operated line of sight drones. We can even utilize ground-based robotics, such as Boston Dynamics Robotic Dogs. For today's demonstration, we were utilizing SkyDio's interface to actually trigger the flight, but we could have just as easily utilized Oracle's field service app to do this as well. Oracle is experimenting with the analysis of footage captured and operationalizing those insights into processes and systems for field work and asset management. Now that we've finished the flight, the footage will then be uploaded into Oracle, field, Oracle Vision Services so that can then be analyzed. As you can see here, the actual upload process is taking place. About halfway done, so once this is once this is completed, uh, it'll auto, we can then download it into Oracle Vision Services. Now, normally this entire process would occur automatically, but for the for, but but for today's demonstration, we actually have created an app that will allow us to actually see the whole process take place. Now that it's completed. Let's go ahead and transfer that over to Oracle Vision Services. And so then we'll be able to actually see the footage that was captured by SkyDio. So as we can see here on the left, we've got our damaged pole. And on the right, we have our good pole. We can then send this footage into our AI model where it will be utilized to actually detect the actual damage to the pole. Now this will either, this will either designate the, S, the footage as having a defect identified or it'll have one that is clean. 
As you can see here, the good utility pole was identified as being normal, whereas the damaged utility pole is designated as actually having damage. The other thing that we're going to get out of this is since a damage was identified, we will have a confidence factor. The confidence factor indicates how sure the AI model is that it successfully identified the damage. If this is too low, then the utility will need to review it and they can either accept the classification or they can correct it. In either case, we feed that back into the machine learning model so that future inspections would be more accurate. Now, now that we've actually identified the actual asset to damage, we can then automatically upload that into our Oracle work and asset management so we can then capture the analysis. Go ahead and look at how that looks in work and asset management to a user by looking at our good utility pool. As you can see here, we have a condition score of one, indicating the fact that the asset is in good shape, that nothing was identified as having a problem. On the other hand, if we look at our bad utility pole, we can see the fact that the, asset, the condition score is three, indicating that a problem was identified. If we go over to our maintenance tab, we can see the actual inspection that took place, and we can see the fact that a failure was identified. If we drill into this, we can see the actual information that was brought over from the analysis, including the confidence factor was 90.7. We can see the actual damage that was identified. So in this case, it was identified as breast damage. And we can even see the image that was captured along with the actual defect being highlighted. Based on the criticality of the damage identified, uh, you can optionally have a Oracle Field Service work request created for you. And in our case, since we designated this as a critical failure, we went ahead and created an Oracle Field Service ticket. We think there's a lot of potential to the use of autonomous vehicles to do asset inspections. Using machine learning to detect asset damage can allow your field crew to focus on where they can add the most value, while also helping to avoid un unrequired costly maintenance programs and problems that may be missed. As you become more and more familiar and confident in the technology, you can then automate a number of the processes such as setting the asset condition score and the creation of work requests. If you're interested, we'd like to partner with you to pilot this technology.